can disconnect this hose right here if you can access it. If you can't, you can always disconnect it right here. Just push down on the terminals or the where the clips are. And the hose, hose slides off like that. As you push down, you can see where the lock pins get pushed in. Now let's disconnect this hose right here. This goes to the front of the vehicle. And I'm just trying to get the lock. I got one side of it. All right, I'm gonna get a screwdriver. There we go, pop that off. And then this one, normally there's another lock like that, but this one has a hose clamp, so I'm gonna need some hose clamp pliers. Hose clamp pliers. And slide this hose off. Now I'm going to take a 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. Um, there's a nut on the top of here and a bolt down here. Sometimes there is a bolt going from the top down, so you might need a ratchet wrench to take that off. But this one's like this, and this whole thing is going to slide out a little bit, and then sideways over the muffler. I'm going to tip it down, and just slide it out like that. So we can take this hose off right here. We'll transfer it over to the new one. All right. And then I'll just transfer this over to the new one. Just slide it out like that. Just kind of angle it in a little bit. I know this piece is pretty rusted, but it, it's still going to protect it from the exhaust heat. Slide it back over the muffler. All right, let's get a slide in the feet in the back. That looks good. Put the bolt back in. Again, if you had a bolt coming down, put it in like that, just like you took it out. And you could have put this pipe on while it was on the ground, but I'll just put it on now. Slide it onto where it goes on the tank. Make sure it locks in place. piece I have to transfer over and this piece just slide up just like that transfer it over to the new one you can either put it over the hose or put it on the hose or the fitting 
and lock it down. And then last, attach the vent hose. it down. That looks good. That's all set.